What's up guys, my name is Zen Prez, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel. Today, I am finally going to be doing another boost for my Honey Day event. I, as many of you know, just claimed my Honey Day event buff, and I am doing my second boost in this video. So, my boost that I'm going to be doing is a red field boost, obviously, since I'm a red hive. I'm going to be donating a gifted mythic egg and kind of just see how that goes. Sometimes you get more lucky than others with boosts, so I really hope that I can finally get a little bit more lucky in this boost than the boost that I previously had. Maybe I won't get quite as lucky though and that would be totally fine. It's really hard to coordinate big boosts because in order to get the best boosts, you really do need multiple people helping you out by either dropping some jelly beans or putting some clouds in the field or just dropping other things like gumdrops in the field for you. So if you really want a big boost, it's always a good thing to get a couple other people in the field or on the server with you. But, you know, when you have more people on the server, it kind of creates more lag. So you got to make sure that you find a good balance. So using some of the honey that I recently got in my last video from the boost, I'm going to be updating and upgrading all of my bees to level 16. So I cannot believe that I finally got all of these up to level 16. It is so expensive. The jump from level 15 to 16 is by far the biggest jump that I've ever seen. It costs almost 100 billion per bee and that is with the gifted puppy bee ability. So yeah, this is a pretty big accomplishment. I love when all of the numbers for hive levels um, on your hive um, is the same for all bees. I think it just looks so much better. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this right before the boost. Uh, hopefully improve all of my bees and get their stats up as much as I can. And then I'm gonna go donate a gifted mythic egg to the wind shrine and see what type of boost we can get. So I'll probably check in back with you guys right after I complete the boost.
guys. I actually ended up grinding the last little part of that boost off camera because a lot of my buffs were starting to run out, but I wanted to make sure that I still did everything that I possibly could. I could have put that all in the video, but I didn't want to make it too long for you guys. So yeah, as you can see here, I got number 19 on the daily red collector's leaderboard. Yesterday, I was at number 23. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go check it out. But I'm super happy with that boost. Sadly, I was only able to get a two times rose buff, but you know, it is what it is. Also, I know I should have used shift lock. I realized that afterwards, so sorry about that. In my next boost, if I'm able to do another one before this buff runs out, I'll definitely do that. That's going to be about it for this video. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you all next time.